180. Gary, congratulations, 4-1 today. It's a pretty comprehensive win for you. Yeah, it went a lot easier than what I was expecting because Brendan, like I say, Brendan on the floor is one of, one of the hardest players that you can play on the circuit. You know, and tonight he just, Brendan's usually a big 140 hitter and he's hitting a lot of 60s and 55s and 59s and I went, well, he's not quite on it, so just pour the way. Was it important to, to get it finished off when you did? You, he, he was threatening to come back there. It was. When I lost that set, I was really kicking myself. I said I could have had it wrapped up and done. You know, with, with my history, I can be well in front and then make a, a mistake and end up. It goes all the way, and that's what I was thinking. But I just say, keep see, banging, banging the big scores, and if you can hit your doubles, we'll, we'll take this match. And I was, I was glad to get it wrapped up at 4-1, to be honest. Yeah, your finishing was pretty good throughout the game, really. We went not bad, I double six and double threes were miles off, but <laughs> uh, I we got there double eight, you know, I says if you miss this then you don't deserve to win. So it's first that I think it was straight in. And your scoring is there as well, it's pretty consistent, maybe not as explosive as, as sometimes, but it's pretty consistent throughout. Yeah, the, I'm finding now it's more 140s and hundreds and one three sevens, scores like that. The one eighties don't know where they've gone. I'll put two in and I'll get a, they just don't seem to the third one doesn't go on. You know, it hits the flight and it goes into a one, or it hits the flight and goes into a five. That's the way it's going now. But I'll, I'll work on that and they should come back, hopefully. Now, I know you say that you don't normally get out of bed on your birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday, and I'm sure you're glad you did today. Well, not really. I'd have rather <laughs> had the birthday day off, you know. Uh, yeah, I know. I know. I hate, I'm one of these persons that hates my birthday getting mentioned. I'm 21 and I'm feeling, starting to feel old. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not 21 times two. Plus one. <laughs> and a little bit. And a little bit more, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it has, I mean, the last few years has just flown past. You know, the last time I looked, I was about 37, 38. Look at it now, I'm getting close to the 50 mark, which is not a good sign. You've got a few days off now for Christmas as well, so I guess you can go put your feet up, enjoy this, have a chat to Michael Smith and, and just have a really good Christmas. Chat to Michael? I don't, I, he's not got time, he's never been off the phone for the last two days. He's, <laughs> he's, uh, he's, uh, he has, he's over the moon with his win over Phil, you know, and... Uh, like, like we say, we know Phil never played his best, but just for Michael to beat Phil, and I, th I think Phil's beat Michael last four or five times in TV tournaments. You know the lad, he's not had a really good draw. I think 12 times he's been on, and eight times it's been either Phil or Barney. You know, so he's not, he's like me, he's got no luck. You know, but uh, yeah, it's good for him. He, I don't know what he'll do over Christmas. We went home yesterday, see? Yeah. Didn't he bother coming to watch me after I've... After you've supported him, drove him about, supported him, done everything for him. You know he disappears. So, but uh, nah, nah, he's a good one. I just want him to play his game how he can. Yep. I mean, everyone talks about Van Gerwen and that, but this lad is something else. You know what he's like when he gets going. He's he's definitely an eye opener once he gets going. Do you think the win on Friday might be a catalyst for him in his career? I hope so. But uh, I think somebody says, "What's he? What, what you got to do with him now?" I says, "Just I can't teach him to play darts." He's done that for his own back. I've no help to him in any way in that. But it's just keeping his feet on the ground. You know, if he starts getting a bit smart and mouthy, I'll, I'll be the first one that slaps him back down. You know, uh, just keep his feet on the ground. Peter Wright's name mug. That's going to be a hard game. Peter will be thinking he's got an easy game, and Michael will be thinking the same. But it'll be a really tough game, and it's going to be down to who plays the best in the day. And speaking of Michael's, potentially Michael Van Gerwen or Kevin McDowell for you next after Christmas. Yeah, I mean, everyone's well, saying it'll be my, uh, Van Gerwen, you know, but Kevin, <laughs> Kevin's came on, he's, his game's back over the last few months, you know, it might be a walkover, it might not, Kevin might shock the world again, because if he gets gone, he's, he's a tidy player as well. So ah, we'll just see what happens. Well done, mate, well done today. Cheers. One, uh...